Number 17, x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals 0. This x squared, you need to think of that as a 1x squared. There's a coefficient of 1 right there. It's not a 0, it's a 1. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 2. So x will be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. And all of that is over 2a, which is just 2. So this works out to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of, we have 25 minus 8, which is 17. Negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 17 over 2. And that's it. We're done. There are two answers there, negative 5 plus the square root of 17 over 2 and negative 5 minus the square root of 17 over 2. If we, if we needed to, we could get a decimal approximation for these two numbers, but we'll just leave it as this. These are the exact answers. Negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 17 over 2. Number 18, we can see that a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 6, don't forget the negative sign, and c is equal to 3. So x is equal to negative b, which will be a positive 6, plus or minus the square root of 36, minus 4 times 2 times 3, all over 2a. So that equals 6, plus or minus, and we have 36 minus, and what do we have under the radical here? 4 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24. So we have 36 minus 24, which leaves us with 12 under the radical. So 6 plus or minus the square root of 12, over 4. And this can be simplified a little bit. 12, remember, is 4 times 3. So 12 has a perfect square factor in it. So 12, the square root of 12, can be written as 2 times the square root of 3. So I'll write it like that in my answer here. x ends up being 6 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 3 over 4. And all of these numbers are divisible by 2. So I can factor out a 2 in the numerator and in the denominator and divide. Basically, all of those numbers get divided by 2. So this simplifies to 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2.